DVD era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Today we're going to talk about the time Mano put hands on tragedy Gaddafi. Now let's get into it. Mixtapes and DVDs is my era. Facts. We did it better. Yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers. Facts. ACG Boots. Uh. We 80s babies. Ooh. In early 90s, when it got grimy. I was out of this world, you could not find me. Unless you checked the lobby. Hustling was my hobby. Damn. We was lobby boys yep. before Jim Jones. You could catch me in Harlem eating Jim Bones. Uh. Now in the DVD era, Mano had somewhat of a reputation of putting the hand of God on other rappers. Now Mano would have physical altercations with Bunky S.A., Little C's, and Young Berg, a.k.a. Hitmaker. Now Mano would go to Instagram and post a picture with Young Berg, a.k.a. Hitmaker, showing that they squashed their beef. And Little C's was also on Mano platform, The Kitchen Talk, showing that they squashed their beef as well. Now, another well-documented physical altercation Mano had was with legend from Queensbridge, Tragedy Gaddafi. Now, if you're not familiar with Tragedy Gaddafi, he's a producer and rapper from Queensbridge. He was part of the Juice Crew and very legendary, one of the first Queens rapper to make it. And he's responsible for CNN. He put CNN, Capone, and Noriega together, and he got them their first deal. Now, according to Mano, he says he don't remember where he met Tragedy at, but when he spoke to Tragedy, Tragedy told him, like, look, man, I can get you a mixtape deal for your mixtapes. So Mano agreed, like, all right, let's do it. Now, around this time, they were in contact heavy, and they would meet up in front of Juniors when they needed to speak. And finally, you know, Tragedy came through with the contract for Mano for his mixtape deal, and Mano said he even signed the deal outside of Juniors in the street. Now, supposedly, Mano was supposed to receive $5,000 from this mixtape deal that he signed through Tragedy, and he's supposed to receive it a week or two after he signed the contract. Now, after a week or two passed, he said he still ain't hear nothing from Tragedy. So, Mano started to call Tragedy phone, and he would call him over and over, but he wasn't getting no response. So, Mano said he said to himself, like, I know what this is. I signed that deal through him. He took that money. And he ran off with it and did whatever he did with it. So the next time Mano would see Tragedy would be in a T.I.P. concert. Now Mano's with Little Kim and a bunch of his homeboys. Now while he's at the party, he hears the DJ shout Tragedy Gaddafi out. And then he runs into him. Now when Mano runs into him, Gaddafi said, yo man, I was looking for you. Now Mano said once he said that, he already knew he was guilty. He wasn't picking up his calls. And he said when somebody owe you money, the first thing they always say is I was looking for you. But he's like, how could you be looking for me when my number never changed and I was calling you, reaching out to you? He said so at that point, he just put hands on Gaddafi. But Gaddafi remembers the situation a little differently. He says for one, he didn't beat Mano out of his money. And for two, he could have communicated with Mano a little more being that he owed him the 5K. Now, third of all, he said he felt like that's something that Mano wanted to do anyway. And Traj also says that Mano didn't fight him one-on-one, -on -one, and he was jumped by seven or eight people, and he admit he got caught slipping. Now, jump in the comment section and let me know what y'all feel. Do y'all feel like Mano jumped the gun by jumping Gaddafi when he seen him? Or he should have gave him more time to produce the 5K and listen to why he didn't have the 5K? Now, playing devil's advocate, anything could have happened. Gaddafi could have took the contract back. And the label that was trying to do the mixtape deal for Mano could have changed their mind about doing the deal. Or it could have took a little bit more time for them to get the money. You get what I'm saying? That could have been the reason why Gaddafi wasn't answering his phone. Because he knew he ain't had the money. And he told Mano a week or two. You get what I'm saying? And he even admitted he could have communicated with Mano a little better. So tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think Gaddafi just deaded Mano on his money because he knew Mano didn't really know the game like that. He just came home from jail. And he found it, he found it like an opportunity to get over on somebody. And from what I'm hearing, he got a history of doing this to artists. Let me know what y'all think. Now, like I said, this could have been a case of just bad communication. Now, Mano part, he might have been a little impatient. He might have really felt like um tragedy zoned him. And he could have been a little hothead and all of that in one. You get what I'm saying? And on tragedy side, he could have um communicated with Mano a little better and let him know what was going on with the situation if he ain't had the money and all of this could have been avoided. But anyway, tell me what y'all think. 
Tell a friend to tell a friend about my page if you enjoy these old hip hop stories. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'm out. One. <laughs>